but the first one I have on our list is back channeling. Right. That was an example. So, so back, cha back channeling to define it is interjects, little words that we use all the time. Wow, really, gosh, gee, dude, you know, all of those little words that we use, okay, gets used a lot. Those little words, that's back channeling. It's, it's the little, also called paralinguistic encouragers. That's the fancy linguistic term, right? Um, and the idea is that it, it lets you know you're taking your turn without taking up much time, which I just did. Yes, but you also combined it with a nod. So is it like natural that a, a, a paralinguistic encourager is combined with some sort of nonverbal? Non, nonverbal encouragers, indeed. The next one on the list, nonverbal encouragers. So a nonverbal encourager is a nod or, okay, or like a, and in, in, in therapy, you don't do this, but we know this means kind of, kind of like move it along. Right? Indeed. It, well, it, yeah, that's what it means. Oh, and sometimes when someone is talking, I will do hand gestures that um, uh, exemplify what they're saying. You know, so they might, like if a couple is saying, giving me a whole story about how the more he does this, the more she does that, I'll start doing you know, this kind of thing, right? That they're chasing each other around, but I don't have to say that. I just start doing the gesture and they're like, right, as if I had said something, right? So lots of, lots, or just, you know, those little gestures that you do that have meaning, right? And communicate something without you verbalizing it. Got it, which I see is particularly useful when you're not when you are active listening and don't necessarily want to interrupt with your voice, but you're also in the conversation so that you don't feel like you're left out of what's going on and then you have to interject awkwardly. Indeed. <laughs> um, and, and something to be thinking about is that oftentimes people get into head bobble, right? <laughs> and so- Non-stop, so, you're saying. Exactly. Non -stop so head then, bobble, yeah. then it stops being meaningful. Hmm. So being aware of your nonverbal habits, not necessarily using them as encouragers, but that they're habits. And so then they're not affirming anything in particular. Jim talks about them as ticks. Ticks. Yeah. Okay. 